There's a word I hate, minority. Because when you say I'm a minority, that is a self-defeatist mentality. You're not a minority. Welcome to Pan-African Lifestyle, where we rep the motherland. We post content regularly and invite you to subscribe and share, if you're a pal. That's a Pan-African Lifestyler. As a token of our appreciation of your support and to celebrate our recent social media subscriber and follower milestone, we're doing a giveaway. Stay tuned until the end for more details. And uh, I just got back from Rwanda. I bought some land down there. Yeah, so I'm looking to buy, I'm built, looking to build a house to get back to the motherland, get back to the continent. So hopefully that means something to every ancestor who tried to get back and wanted to get back and, you know, and inspires the next generation and, and, and they're, they're, when they have kids and, and so on and so forth. So we'll never, we'll never, you know, the next generations will never not know what it was like to not be in the motherland. You know what I mean? There's a feeling of, I just feel like I belong. You know, I feel like, you know, when I get off that plane, I breathe the air and I put my feet on that ground and I, I feel that soil and I see the people, man. You're just like, man, man. And the way our media is set up, you know, growing up watching different movies and cartoons and how they made Africa looked, it didn't inspire any African-Americans to want to go back. Every time I go and bring one or two two or three people back just so they can see that the lies that were told are untrue, you know? So anytime I'm not working, anytime I have time on my hands, I'm back on the continent because I just miss it. I miss it so much. And I'm not saying that there isn't any trials and tribulations or problems on the continent in each country. You know, you, you're gonna meet some shady people. You're gonna meet some people that wanna try to take advantage of you. But when I'm there, man, I feel like home. There's a humanity that, that has been lost in our culture in America. There's a humanity, man. I can feel it in my soul and my spirit, man. And you have to listen to that. You know, I, I always listen to my intuition, always listen to my soul, always listen to my spirit. And if it feels good on me, then it must be a good place to be. You know what I mean? I'm like, I need to go home, you know, and just be a human being with no judgment, you know, and, and, and that's all. I mean, that's all we want, man. Just, you know, we build your house, raise your family and, and live life and enjoy. You know, it's always people who say, oh man, you know, Africa's dangerous. And you say, well, have you been? Well, no, nah, but I heard. So, I can't listen to that person. If you've never been, then why am I taking advice from you? You know, why would I take advice from someone who, who's never been, who's never even tried to go, probably don't even have a passport. It's not true. But these are people that have never been. They only get what the media wants them to see. How does the media show African-Americans? Is it kind? Do they show us in a positive light? And why would you think that they would show Africa in a positive light? It's really that, that mind. When, when, the, when, when people control your mind, they don't have to control your body anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They can make you think whatever they want to. Man, I go to Africa, man, and I get an education every time I go. You know what I mean? It's some of the most brilliant minds that I've, I've just sat with, and I'm just like, I spend hours with elders and I'm just like getting an education, like, whoa, this is amazing. You know what I mean? Because you have this worldly and another view and another lens on life. Stop believing the lie that they fed us, yeah. you know? And I'm, you know, luckily I've had a few friends that trusted me and said, man, I'm like, listen, if you do not enjoy your trip, I will refund your money. No, you can't go to Africa and try to stay at some resort and, you know, I'm going to stay in a resort. No, you got to get out there with the people. Just get that energy and that feeling. Get out there with those people, man, and you'll see that love and, and that, you know, um, and you, you'll, you'll see that it was all lies. I'm inspired every time I come because young people are doing it and they're, they don't, they're not waiting 
for a handout. And that's one of the beautiful things about being on the continent. You're just like, they're not waiting. You know, you got people with businesses doing it and they're, they don't, they're not waiting for a handout. Like there's a word I, I hate, minority. Because when you say I'm a minority, that is a self-defeatist mentality. You're not a minority. We got to stop asking other people to tell our stories. We have enough millionaires. We have billionaires now. They can combine all the money they got. If they say, all right, let's, let's, let's do a, a DreamWorks. You know, let's, let's do the model after DreamWorks. Then we stop going and asking people, please tell my story. It's worthy. You know, we have to tell our own stories. There's black billionaires in Africa. We have to bridge, you know, like I go to, I go to Africa, I've been to 16 countries now, and I go like two, three times a year now. African-Americans and Africans need to connect. You know, we need to go back and build because they're, it's, it's, the resources are rich. The people are beautiful and everything we hear about Africa is totally wrong, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like there, we gotta do this collaboration and start collaborating more. We gotta stop thinking as beggars and start be like, hey man, let's get our own stuff. Thanks for tuning in to Pan-African Lifestyle. Some lucky pals will be receiving Pan-African Lifestyle merch, Umoja and Pal Trivia card games, and the How to Unite Africa book, signed by the Pan-African Lifestyle founders. To participate, share the name of the African country you'd like to visit in the comment section. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Pan-African Lifestyle. Don't forget to confirm your mailing address at panafricanlifestyle.com slash chat in case you win. Keep repping the motherland.